Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and uh, in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This Lenovo laptop, it's the model Lenovo IdeaPad 330S-15IKB model. So that's the exact model. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can replace or get a new battery inside the laptop or remove the battery in case you want to remove it. This uh, method applies for any 330S series. So if you have a little bit different model, doesn't matter, it's the same procedure and it should be really easy and forward. So let's keep this video short and let's get it started. Before we do anything, you want to make sure the power is off to the laptop. There's no hibernation or standby completely off. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I always use the iFixit tool set, tool set kit. They come with all the bits that you need for all, any type of electronics, equipment. We're going to be using a, a Philips number zero from this tool set. Also, you will be needing an opening tool, which I'm going to be using a guitar pick. You can get a pro uh, set, which they include, uh, include you with an opening tool, but I prefer always using a guitar pick. I'm used to it. It's really tough and smooth edges, so you want to not scratch the case. So what you want to do, you want to flip over the laptop. And we want to start removing all the screws at the bottom cover. There is no hidden screws or anything under the rubber legs or anything like that. There is a screw in the middle, don't forget that one. And there's a screw back middle. So let's go ahead and the screws are of the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching these ones. These are M2 screws. So go ahead and start removing them. Also, I only see a few of my viewers are subscribing to my channel or clicking that likes button. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions. When I see people subscribing or leaving likes to my videos, if you obviously find my videos helpful and helps you out, it doesn't cost you anything just by clicking like or subscribing. I really appreciate it. All right. All right, once we removed all the screws at the sides or on the bottom cover, you want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle and you want to stick the guitar pick right where any of the screw holes are, right beside there because this is the strongest point. So between the top and the bottom cover, you want to stick this one in there, make sure it goes there about two or three millimeters. And then what you want to do, you just want to twist it and you want to work yourself all around to the corners, doesn't matter which corner you want to go first left or right and you want to do the side same thing just go all around go to the back corner you might need to use you want to hear those clicks that's what you want to hear the clicking once you did the sides and you see the front cover lifting up you want to do the same thing on the back end on the corners right by the under the hinge right there oh, look the cover just came out you must you might have to go a little more but mine just came out right now so this is the bottom chassis bottom cover once you remove that you're going to see the whole battery right here there's an empty spot on the battery i don't know why to just fill the gap i guess and the model number for this battery model na model name is an l14 l2 p21 that's the model for this one i'll try to find the link for this one is a 7.4 volt 3900 milliamp. To remove the battery, you want to pull this uh, cable backwards so it disconnects the jack right there. So pull it back towards the this, this side of the battery. Now to remove it, you have to remove this screw, this screw, this one over here, this one over here, and the one over here. When you remove here, there's a, this audio cable is tangled around here, so you want to untangle this cable right here and put it to one side and go ahead and remove all the screws there's another battery in the here it's called a bios battery this is the bios battery right here it comes here it goes right away here so there's a jack on to hook it if you want to change your bios battery 
These are, this is the battery, the CR2032. And the only reason you would be removing this one, replacing this one is when you power on the, when the battery drains to zero and you boot it up and your clock or your configuration of the bias doesn't stay, it's because the battery is drained. You might want to replace this one. This one lasts you about five, six years, sometimes seven years. All right, once you remove the screws under this main battery, you can just go ahead and lift it up. And as you can see, this is an empty spot right here. I guess it's kind of catty to fill the gap. So if you press on the keyboard, it just doesn't go through. So it's a support, I guess. Let's say you got the new battery in. Same thing as you did. You want to bring it here, lift up this flex cable for the keyboard, align it, put it right over, and place the five screws right here on top. All right, once you have the screws right on top and make sure the flex is over, run the cable for the speakers. Just tangle it back right where you took it from. All right, and grab the connector for the battery and slide it right inside the jack all the way through. Make sure it's all the way inside. Once you did that, just grab the bottom cover Make sure the cable doesn't stay over. It goes under this place. You can just accommodate it if you want to. Just make it look nicer. Just like that. Grab the bottom case, bring it over, and then push the corners. One main thing you have to know by replacing the battery, when you turn on the computer, it might blink a few times, up to 10 seconds. That's normal. So it's trying to detect the RAM and everything again. So every time you remove the battery, the first initial boot time, it might take a few seconds with a black screen. So don't panic, don't worry about it. Just leave it there for a few seconds and then you should get the boot screen. And now I'm just gonna finish up putting the bottom screws and that'll be all. Again, thank you for watching guys. If you have any requests or questions, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. There we go.